Yes, I can. No, no you I can't. can't. You take me and cut me throat. No. Jesus Christ. Don't give me that bloody Fuck donkey. That. <laughs> Jesus. Put me away from Ooh. the donkey. Hello, and welcome to the Filthy Shakespeare Company. Today, as part of LGBT Plus History Month, we're going to be looking at another word or phrase and asking the question, is it queer in Shakespeare? Looking at the idea of Shakespeare's words being censored in plain sight. So today's word, Duncan, is? Well, it's not a word, it's actually. It's not a word. It's a small phrase. And that phrase is, bite your thumb. Bite Do you thumb. bite your thumb at me, sir? Do you bite your thumb at me? Do you? Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? How dare uh, you? And all that bit, sir. right? So, uh, biting your thumb, now we, we probably all know that that's all a bit kind of, uh, you know, is a bit of an insult in, in them nowadays and stuff. It seems a bit of a, an insult, a bit like flicking the Vickies. You know, if you're an American, you know, flicking the bird and all that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff. But a bit ruder, probably. Right, but it, this is not really about thumbs or, mm -hmm. uh, or biting. Well, it is about biting. Okay. I tell a lie. <laughs> this is definitely about biting. Uh, but it's more about figs. Figs? Would you believe? As in oh, the fruit. Things. As in the fruit. Oh, right, okay. Right. Now, and it's mainly about, uh, like, it kind of looks like, uh, the, 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 if you imagine the thumb is the fig, uh, it looks like it's sticking out of something, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, she's maybe smeared in chocolate in it. No, no, no. Right, anyway. Uh, so, this, this is a reference to a man called Frederic Barbosa in the 12th century, who apparently was like a leader of something. Something. Can't remember exactly what, right? But, <laughs> but good name, he, though. he's a good name, yeah. yeah. Heard yeah. Of it. He, when he was wanting to, to like, uh, put people away for being dickheads basically he wanted to uh, give him a chance for life and what he would do is he would say if you can use only your teeth to de get this fig out of the arse of this donkey oh, this is a real thing nice. by the way. this is a real thing you must use only your teeth to get this fig out of the arse of this donkey if you do so I will let you live well, he, you was, do, yeah, he was no, a kind man. Yeah, he was a kind man. Hey, <laughs> I, if you do not, I will blatantly kill you. Not blatantly, just, just kill I you. Just will. Right? Uh, but you see, the, you might be wondering why the hell would you do that? Well, Frederick <laughs> was a bit of a swing every which way but loose, right? Uh, because uh, he wanted to find out who, out of the people who were do, sentenced to death, yeah, right? would do anything. And also would be able to get a fig out of a donkey's ass because he wanted to know uh, who would be able to do that for him. Oh, I see. Because he liked a bit of that. Okay. So uh, if you manage to get the fig out of your ass, your job would then be get, to get it figs out of, out of his ass. <laughs> right. I'm not sure which is worse. I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends what he's donkey. been eating, to be honest. Uh, well, how smelly the don donkey is. Well, it's not about the donkey after that, is it? It's about him. <laughs> There's a donkey involved somewhere. It's a bit brutal, isn't it? It's anyway, a bit queer. In Shakespeare. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs>